Jeddah Tower, everything you need to know about the next tallest building in the world. Rivalry in architecture and construction is nothing new. Architects strive to design stronger, bigger, and more luxurious buildings than their competition. Countries and cities also compete in this race. So it doesn't really come as a surprise that Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates do the same. Their rivalry is strong, as both sides try to outdo one another. When Burj Khalifa in Dubai dazzled the world with its sheer power and beauty, it was only a matter of time when Saudi Arabia will try to beat it. Their answer to this challenge is Jeddah Tower. Once complete, the building will stand at least 3,280 feet tall. It is part of a larger development, Jeddah Economic City, and will be the first structure in the world to reach the one kilometer high mark. The original design was to be one mile high, 1.6 kilometers, but the geology of the area was not suitable for that height. The designing architect of the world's first one kilometer high skyscraper is none other than Adrian Smith, from Adrian Smith Gordon Gill Architecture. Smith was also the designer of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. He is known for his soaring towers in the US, South Korea, and China. At first, the idea of this architectural marvel in Jeddah was not enthusiastically received, as some Saudis believed it would have a negative financial effect on the kingdom. With a budget nearing $2 billion, its opening date was pushed till 2020 due to difficult economic circumstances in the country. Various delays made it impossible to finish the project in 2020. At this point, it's not clear when the tower will be completed and open to the public. Although not complete yet, it's obvious that Jeddah Tower will be a spectacular skyscraper. The aerodynamic triangular shape and the sloping extent exterior of the Jeddah Kingdom Tower help in reducing the wind load. Its tripetal shaped plan is inspired by the leaves of desert plants. The taper also helps maximize usable or rentable area. It offsets the large cone size on the lower floors by widening the base, while the shape also narrows the core overall, making it less space consuming at the top. Its form is interesting for a tower of its size. The three-petal plan allows separate extrusions to nudge against one another, while the profile is inspired by folded fronds of young desert plant growth, as mentioned earlier. Gill-like indentations add another scale of visual intrigue. The multi-use tower will house the Four Seasons Hotel, in addition to serviced residential apartments and office spaces, with transportation routes all around it. Additionally, Jeddah Tower will have the highest observatory deck and hanging balcony, about 652 meters above the sea level. The sleek skyscraper will be the core of Jeddah Economic City Project and will be surrounded by houses, schools, universities, malls, and hospitals. The building is so big that one rendering is not realistically able to enclose the whole colossal edifice. Only elevations and bird-eye views can do the job. If you're sitting in a small room right now with a width of 10 feet, have a look around you. This is the diameter of one foundation pile. Each pile is 360 feet in length. Concrete in some parts of the core is a few meters thick. Kingdom Tower, Jeddah, will have 59 elevators and 12 escalators. Five of these elevators will be double-decker. However, due to the extreme height of the tower, which is over one kilometer, elevators are made to move at a speed lower than ordinary lifts to avoid nausea caused by change in air pressure. Three sky lobbies will prevent any one elevator from having to go all the way to the top, eliminating the need for excessively huge cables. With the sizzling temperature in Jeddah, which could reach 50 degrees Celsius in the summer, the exterior wall system of Jeddah Tower comprises glass of low conductivity to reduce power use for air conditioning. Wonderful views of the city and the sea can be seen from the outdoor terraces. The three-sided building has magnificent patios as well as shaded pockets in each of the three sides. A structure of such height requires a huge amount of steel for construction, which can reach up to 80,000 tons. Construction of Jeddah Tower started on April 1st, 2013. Piling was completed in December the same year, while the above-ground construction began in September 2014. Three years later, in late 2017, the owner of Kingdom Holding Co., which owns 33% of the tower, and the chairman of the primary contractor, Saudi Bin Laden Group, were arrested as part of the 2017 Saudi Arabian corruption purge. 
Despite these setbacks, construction of the tower continued, but some senior managers at Kingdom Holding were moved to other projects. In October 2017, the central core of the tower was at 60 floors, and the walls were 248 meters high, or 814 feet. By the end of 2017, a reported height was 252 meters, or 827 feet. In March 2018, Kingdom Holding Company signed a deal with Orange Business Services to provide information and communication technology infrastructure to Jeddah Tower. On March 12th, construction of the tower moved forward after the delay. Various delays made contractors miss every deadline. Technical issues with the concrete had meant that alterations to the design had to be made, which had delayed construction. As mentioned earlier, there is no specific completion date now. Based on all the information and plans for Jeddah Tower, it is perfectly clear the building is worth the wait. It's safe to say the Kingdom Tower is going to be a spectacular building and will probably mark a beginning of a new era in architecture and construction. The engineers explain that a project of this magnitude is bound to face certain delays that require changing some initial plans.